Good morning, world. It is a beautiful day here in Singapore. There is so much to see in this wonderful country, so let's get going. When I was in Singapore, I was so excited I forgot to film my intro. So now we're just gonna use some imagination and pretend we're there. See? Very convincing, right? <laughs> Well, if you watched my previous video here, then you must already know that the food in Singapore is incredible. But do you know that their snack culture is off the hook as well? Well, that's a hook. <laughs> in this video, I'm going to share with you guys my top 11 favorite snacks, ranging from drinks to quick eats to some of the amazing junk food they have there. So get on cozy because we're about to take a food tour of Singapore. We're headed to Lao Passat, a popular hawker center that has amazing food and snacks. First up is the Sweet Treat Min Jing Kue, which is essentially a sweet pancake that makes a wonderful snack. They put a modern twist to some of the originals like peanut and coconut by having biscoff filling, green tea, red bean, and even charcoal flavored. So eating in Singapore has allowed me to confirm that you can definitely feel sick from eating too much. Just as I was about to leave to go to the next hawker station, I station, station, oh my god, I can't even talk, I'm getting like food coma. I decided to stop for these Singaporean pancakes. Apparently they're very traditional, and so they have like a very thick spongy kind of mochi uh, outside, and then I chose green tea as my outside and red bean filling as the inside. Oh, does Kitty want some? <laughs> I'm so full that it hurts, but I need to go buy more of these. <laughs> so I found my Singaporean spirit animal. It's him. <laughs> That's me. I keep eating all this good food here because how can you not? But oh my god, my stomach is so full. I don't think I can squeeze any more in. They're gonna have to roll me out of Singapore. <laughs> I'm so excited. I found my country. There's durian everywhere. <laughs> Brief story time, guys. This next part has to be one of my favorite memories from Singapore, and it was meeting the local named Victor. I was fumbling for some cash trying to pay for a drink I just ordered. When Victor saw me, he's like, just sit, sit, and enjoy your juice. You can pay later. And I looked at him, I was like, oh, but the waitress wants me to pay now. And he looks at the waitress, he's like, no, no, she can pay later. So the waitress just nods and walks away. He invites me to sit down with him and then he starts telling me all about his wonderful life, what it's like living in Singapore, telling me about the importance of working hard while you're young so you can really enjoy your, your adulthood. And most importantly, he said, life is meant to be enjoyed, especially to enjoy durian with people. <laughs> which is just the cutest, sweetest thing. So I sat with him, soaking in all his wisdom, and he insisted that I eat the durian he had bought. So it was really fun trying that wonderful food and just being with him and, and learning from him. So let's go to that now. There's durian here, and I made a you new eat, friend. You eat, I eat, eat. You want me to eat it? Yeah, I eat I open for you to Oh, eat. thank yeah. you. I'll take the small one. Oh, take, take, take the whole piece. I'll take this half for now. Look how kind he is! Thank you, Victor! <laughs> Let's see how this is. <laughs> it's so good! And Victor and I just killed three durians together. And it was so yummy! <laughs> Durian got its name from the Malay word duri, which means thorn. And there are a ton of varieties, but the most popular ones are D24 and Musang King. This is the one that I was told to try in Malaysia. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Asian jerky or Malaysian jerky, it's actually like a sweet kind of jerky, and it is so good. Very different from like, let's say, American dried out jerky. I'm back a rotund little ball. <laughs> Look at all of this! I bought some. <laughs> You can tell everybody is getting ready for the new year in Asia. Look at this. This is amazing. Maybe I should have gone here for my jerky. Wow. Oh my gosh, just keep going. Holy moly. Sorry if it's a little bit loud. I decided to go into an alley in Chinatown because I couldn't resist. I saw Malaysian jerky and I bought it. <laughs> it's fresh, piping fresh and warm, so we gotta eat it now. Okay, so this one's applewood smoked. It's got a nice sweetness to it, but also an amazing smokiness that balances out. It's pretty good. I'm waiting to find something in Singapore that I don't like yet. <laughs> mm. 
There's so much energy in Chinatown. Everybody's so excited for the new year. I legitimately think I have a certified problem in Singapore because every 15 to 20 minutes, I am buying more food. And this time, I didn't pop in the store and get one drink, but two. <laughs> they are both peach flavored and everything in Singapore has been so good. I thought, why not? The odds are for me, right? So let's try this peach yogurt drink that's supposed to have some jellies in it. Mm. <laughs> it's just like weird milky artificial flavor. And then I also got peach Coca-Cola, which sounds promising, but after that, I'm not so sure. Okay. Oh, that's weird. So it has like this very muted kind of Pepsi flavor instead of Coca-Cola. And then it hits you with this really artificial, like kind of peachy flavor that leaves like a film on your tongue. Like, Oof. Okay, I guess that we can find a few things that are not so great in Singapore. At least not for me. <laughs> I did it again. I'm eating everything in this country. Bought more food. <laughs> it's only been like 10 minutes since I bought the drinks. Hmm. So it's supposed to be like a pandan chiffon cake. And pandan's a very common kind of sweetish flavor in the Southeast Asian culture. It's so light and fluffy. I'm gonna come back like 20 kilos heavier. It's almost six o'clock. I completely forgot about night markets. Let the fun begin. Or tummy ache. And when you're in Singapore, don't forget to cool down with some boba. I especially loved the passion fruit drink here. Yeah. I heard that this is a really, really yummy, uh, kind of like their Singaporean junk food. So we're gonna try it. It's essentially fish skin that is flavored with like an egg seasoning. I don't know, but let's try it. Ooh, that is a big piece. Okay, we're going in for behemoth. The very light area, not fishy at all. I like these, these are winners. Mm. I actually wish I disliked it because they're expensive. <laughs> so like and subscribe so I can buy more. So no visit to Singapore would be complete without trying their kaya toast, which it's supposed to be really good from here, Yakun kaya toast. And essentially it's their quintessential breakfast. And it comes with toast, a kaya jam, which is like a pandan sugar jam, and usually a pat of butter. I decided I didn't want it with butter this time because when I've had it in the past, I think it was just like a little bit too decadent and you couldn't really taste the kaya jam. So let's dig in. Mmm. It's really nice and sweet. If you don't like sweet, you may not love this. So kaya toast wasn't my favorite thing to eat in Singapore, but because it's so wildly populated there, I decided to give it a second try. So here I am trying it with the butter, and I also got a pineapple bun, which as you can probably tell by my reaction, I actually like it back home better, where it feels so much more buttery and flaky good indulgentness. Coconut drinks are a very popular drink slash treat here in Singapore. So that's what we're gonna do today to cool off. We're going to Coconut Queen, and we got the original coconut shake, which is gonna have coconut ice cream, coconut chunks of meat, as well as coconut juice. Let's give this a try. Mm. Ooh, it's very coconutty. And I asked for it to be only 25%, so I like that you can really taste the coconut meat and it's not like overly sweet. It's Winnie. So when Val came back from her Singapore trip, she uh, started to look a little bit pledgy like me. So she really needs help by getting some money for a gym membership. So if you liked her video and want to see even more of her stuff, then please like and subscribe her videos below. It helped her grow so much bigger and hopefully grow the channel, not grow her belly because uh, she doesn't need more help with that. Okay, thanks. Bye.